this is Yasso, and uh, my hair is different. That's new. It's fun. It's growing on me. I kind of miss the pink, but eh, what can you do? Um, today, I put on some makeup, and I went to the dentist, and um, I decided I should I should make a video. <laughs> I should make a video, and um, since I look, you know, halfway de decent, um, halfway decent, I decided, you know, why not record myself talking? Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, <laughs> recently I got a message um, from a following, or from, from a subscriber slash follower on Twitter. Um, asking me for some tips and advice on commissions and how to price her commissions or their commissions. I'm sorry, I don't know what, what uh, do you call yourself? She, he, I don't know. Anyways, um, so they, they very kindly asked me for some tips on uh, commission prices and I figured um, I did help them, like I've been helping them for, for a bit now, um, but I figured I should make a little video um, explaining to you guys how, basically how to set up your commission page and what prices to do and all that stuff. So, one of the things that I run into a lot when people ask me for advice on prices for commissioning is... Um, they they feel they feel like they can't charge a certain amount um and that's gonna be my first i guess tip for you guys um don't sell yourself short <laughs> um it's a very it's very simple as that like don't don't sell your sell yourself short um if you feel like your skill isn't worth the payment, then don't take commissions, is what I want to say. Um, but I know some of you are in a tough situation and you decide that you want to open up commissions and you want to provide a service for people. Um, but a lot of young artists, what I see is that they'll start at a very, very low price for something that's like a full body commission. Now, I'm going to show you guys here I'm gonna show you guys my commission sheet um, and I'm gonna talk about like why I'm charging those prices even though I could probably charge a little bit more but that's the, that's the price that I, I feel comfortable with given my my current status online and all that stuff uh, <laughs> so how to price your commissions well Let's, let's use like a formula, <laughs> let's use a formula here. Um, so say they are paying for the time that it takes and also like the time it takes for you to do the actual drawing and they're also paying for how long you've been drawing, like how long have you been working to develop that skill. So, Say I'm, I'm a beginning artist, like I have a very small following, like I'm just getting my foot out there in DeviantArt, Tumblr, Twitter, all that stuff. Um, and you know, I've been drawing for, I've been drawing for like five years, you know, like I started taking my stuff seriously maybe two years ago and started developing my skill on digital drawings two years ago, okay? so. I just got a following, but I have that that skill that I've been developing for this amount of years, you know. So you, when you when you think about it, even if let's say like you didn't even go to art school for it, like me, I didn't go to art school. Um, so you know you've been developing the skill on your own. It's still a skill that you're developing, and it's a skill that people are paying for. So. <laughs> When you're charging someone right off the bat, if you feel comfortable, you should charge like X amount per hour it takes you to draw. You know what I mean? Um, so let's say the minimum wage in wherever you're living at is $6 an hour, maybe seven, maybe 10, go with that. So I think in Virginia when I left, it was like 
ten dollars an hour or no I'm sorry North Carolina um, it was about nine nine to ten dollars an hour it was like the minimum wage I think I'm not sure that was a while back <laughs> it could have changed it could be more it could be less um, but if I'm charging someone that for my time and skill since I'm just starting it's a starting position then I would be charging ten dollars an hour it usually will take me maybe you know two hours two hours to do a full body full color then I'm gonna charge twenty dollars you see um, and you know that's that's a very easy and simple way for you to charge you know what what you're doing it takes me like I don't know maybe 30 minutes to an hour to do a full like a like an icon or you know a, a bust so I'll charge 10 to 15 dollars you know like you just you you have to pay attention to like the amount of skill how long you've been doing it and how long it takes you to to draw that picture that's just my opinion though you can follow anyone else's like uh, commission guide for you know for 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 your own commissions but this is how I charge my drawings now um, since I've been doing this a little longer and I I'm not in high demand but I do get commissions at least three to four commissions a month then I will charge like thirty dollars for the full body but that's because I'm not in high demand I can I can charge that low because I'm comfortable charging that low um, now if for some reason I like skyrocket in popularity and I am starting to get like a backlog of commissions like I suddenly have a list of like 20 commissions that I have to finish within you know the within the month then I would have to bring up my my pay my my my, my prices because I am in high demand high demand more money because otherwise if I if I stay with my low prices and more I get more and more people I'm gonna get burned out <laughs> I'm gonna get burned out and I'm just not gonna be able to provide um, and I'm gonna have to like you know stop people I'm gonna be like listen buddy I, I can't take in any more commissions or if I'm deciding to be like too nice and I decide to take in too many commissions then I'll end up with the problem where I'm like oh uh, how many do I owe like how many are left people are hating me people are sending me like so many messages asking me where their commissions are no oh, you know like you get overwhelmed um, now if you're able to handle that many commissions and you're happy charging you know lower prices and you know you, you have no other no other priorities in your life then go right ahead I'm not stopping you from you know taking in 20 commissions a month um, but for me since I have so many other things I want to do so many other things I just want to focus on um, aside from making money for my artwork and just bo doing better in my artwork then I I tend to like you know go with my demand so a couple commissions a month that's fine by me like I'm I'm not in a situation where um, my artwork is my main source of income you know of course not not a lot of you are, are lucky enough to be in a situation that I'm in and some of you have to have you know part-time jobs and this and that or if you decide to be a completely 100% reliant on your commissions by all means do it but remember don't sell yourself short because then you're gonna burn yourself out and people are gonna see you as like that cheap artist that you know anybody can afford them and that's whatever like I'm not saying that that's a bad thing either I'm just saying that you know it's it, it'll it, it'll come with the reputation that people can take advantage of you basically because you're so cheap like you, you can draw anything for for this amount of, of money and you know you'll get some people who <laughs> who want to charge you like twenty dollars for a full body armored character with like more than one drawing and it's like ooh, that's a little bit too low um but yeah anyways uh <laughs> So moral of the story, when you're when you're 
when you're starting off with commissions and you're a young artist, um, think about that. Think about when you go to a, when you start a job like at McDonald's or at Best Buy or GameStop or, you know, any, any kind of like part-time minimum wage job, you're going to start with part-time minimum wage pay. So think of it like that. Like if you, if the, the only difference is that you're not paying taxes and um, that's another story. I don't really know how to help you guys with taxes and stuff. You're gonna have to look somewhere else. But anyways, um, so yes, <laughs> as I was saying, think of it like that. Think of it like you're starting a job somewhere. So you have to be fair with yourself. Um, what's the lowest lowest amount so ten dollars all right um it takes me ten dollars or one hour to do a chibi done ten dollars for that chibi if it takes you less to do uh a, like a sketch or a line art or whatever just calculate that time but be fair so say it takes you half an hour to do a line art of a chibi or a sketch of a chibi you know, it's not really fair to charge just five dollars. Maybe make it five fifty, six dollars. You know, round it up, kind of deal. Because again, that's that's your time and the skill that you developed. Um, once you once you gain a better a bigger following and you start becoming more popular, um, unless you have a backlog of commissions, then you really don't have to bring up your prices. But remember, if you do start getting a backlog and you start getting feeling like a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit burned out maybe from drawing so much and having such a large demand for your artwork, then you're gonna have to charge higher. And that's why some artists, like their prices are so high because they're in just so such high demand. Um, and you know, it's, some people might find that unfair, but the people who are charging that high are making a living off of it they're not just you know doing it for fun like that's that's a skill that they developed and that's a skill that they use for their job their work which is being a full-time artist so uh to re 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 elaborate re elaborate what's that word ¿Cuál es esa palabra? um so to reiterate re whatever be fair to yourself. Don't sell yourself short. And also don't, um, what is English? Don't compare yourself to others is what I was trying to say. Don't compare yourself to others. If you see an artist that's in the same, maybe artistic level as you are, or at the same popularity level that you are, and you find out that you know they're charging like a pretty low amount um, you know if you feel if it, it, and you, you see that they're, they're charging a low amount um, don't compare yourself and say oh well they're charging pretty low so I have to charge pretty low because uh, my skill is the same as theirs or you know they're more popular than I am there's no way I can charge more than them <laughs> take that idea and throw it out the, throw the window just throw it out the window because that's that's no bueno no no lo hagas um i did that to myself so much growing up um growing up i was like you know oh i i can't possibly charge like 50 dollars for a full body like that's that's way too much for my skill but then it would take me like five hours to do it anyway so why why not charge five dollars or fifty dollars for that full body? I, I was just like, oh well, my drawings are. Oh, I don't have as many followers as, you know, this other artist, so I can't charge that much. Or oh, like I can't possibly like make money from the skill that I'm building. Like oh no, God forbid, you know. <laughs> uh, so don't do that to yourself. It's torture. Um, it's torture. You're always going to be comparing yourself to other artists and it's going to be terrible for your self-esteem. It's going to be terrible for your production. Trust me, it's, it's bad. It's bad. You don't, you don't want that. Um, 
So yes, uh, I hope that you guys learned something today from my video. Um, I want to make more of these like little chatty videos, one-on-one -on -one kind of deal uh, without like the speed paint in the background. Mostly because um, the program that I use for editing, it only speeds up to like four times and then I have to like render that video and then speed it up some more and it's it's not Premiere Pro and I only know how to edit in Premiere Pro and Sony Vegas why are you so difficult? So yes, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and if you didn't, let me know why. I, let me know what your prices are for commissions and if you're interested in commissioning me, self little promo here um go ahead and head out to my tumblr or my twitter um you can either message me on there or you can send me an email or anything like that um and if you have any questions please 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 feel free to send me a message on twitter tumblr email whatever because i love helping people i love you know helping younger artists and stuff like that because you know at some point I was lost too and I needed answers and questions and I found my own answers and questions to this crazy world that we live in so I would be more than happy to help you or just chat just chat <laughs> so yeah anyways um thank you for watching and uh, remember to keep drawing, keep doing what you like to do because the only one that's stopping you from doing that and pursuing your dreams is yourself. All right? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!